Hey guys, welcome back to Hack It Out. We've got another movie review for you today. And we're still a little bit backlogged, so today's movie review is going to be over Power Rangers. Now, this movie came out a couple of months ago, and this movie, uh, kind of like Beauty and the Beast, this one was a little bit difficult for me to really do a review on. Uh, it took me a little while to... Uh, really sit there and think about how I was going to judge everything and rate everything because Power Rangers was such a big part of my childhood. They had talked about a Power Rangers movie for quite a while, but when I first learned of this particular iteration of the movie, I was, uh, I guess you could say I was really worried and not really sure what this movie was going to be. I wasn't really sure how I was going to feel about it. And then, you know, the marketing started coming out. Uh, you know, we got the first view of the, the suits. We saw, you know, some concept art of Alpha and Zordon. And we started seeing the trailers. And I was really very apprehensive about this movie. And uh, going in before I get into more, like, the meat of this review, I would just, you know, want to say that, like some other reviews, this is going to be... Um, probably minor spoilery, uh, not going to have major spoilery uh, topics. I'm not going to uh, give off really any huge story details, or at least I'm going to try not to, but uh, if you're worried about that type of stuff, then uh, don't watch any further. Uh, if you've already seen the movie or you just don't care, then uh, obviously you can continue to stay here and, and listen to what I have to say about it. But anyway, so this movie does kind of go uh, with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers iteration. You know, it's got those characters, uh, the you know the original five: uh, Jason, Zach, Billy, uh, Kimberly, and Trini. Uh, they're a little bit different. They're not exactly like their uh, original TV show counterparts. Their attitudes, like their personalities, are a little bit different. I was nervous going into this movie. I went in with very very low expectations. Uh, I, I knew I wanted to see it because it is Power Rangers and Power Rangers is such a big thing to me. It always has been. I wanted to support it because it's Power Rangers, but I was really afraid of what it was going to do to this beloved franchise that, you know, has been a part of my life. So anyway, going in, you know, low expectations. Uh, I got to say I was very uh, surprised. Now, I don't think it was a very fantastic movie. It wasn't the best thing I've ever seen, but it certainly was not the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it just it really surprised me. I uh, I found myself laughing a lot. Uh, I had there was a lot of moments where you know I was I felt kind of like a kid again. Was you know just like yeah, you know just felt really excited, uh, pumped up, and. You know, I didn't expect to feel that with this movie. And some of those feelings are what I wanted to feel with the Power Rangers movie. Now, again, it's not quite what I wanted, but it's you're never going to get exactly what you want out of movies like this, things from your childhood. You know, just like I talked about with the Beauty and the Beast, you know, it's something that, you know, you loved so much as a kid. You know, you're going to have these high expectations that are going to be really hard to meet. And so most of the time that stuff's never going to be met. But this definitely um, exceeded the expectations that I went in with. So it was a good thing I went in with low expectations. Uh, but basically the story, you know, it's a little bit different than uh, the original story from the show. You know, in this one, uh, Zordon uh, used to be a ranger. And, you know, it's it really kind of touches on the whole aliens thing. So, you know, Zordon... Uh, Alpha, you know, they're, they're these aliens from this alien ship that had crashed on Earth, you know, long, long, long time ago, and it's just been buried under the ground, uh, basically just lying dormant, just waiting, and, you know, these kids stumble upon it, and these kids, you know, they, they kind of know each other, but they don't really know each other, and, you know, they kind of have to, co they come together uh, just in this weird way, kind of had this breakfast club feel at first at the beginning of it. Because uh, they're all kind of like in this detention sort of thing. Something that I liked was that this movie was all about uh, building up their characters. It wasn't just right out of the gate. They got the suits. They got, you know, the Zords. They started 
fighting Rita and all of her stuff. It, it wasn't like that right at the gate. They had to become Power Rangers. So they couldn't even morph until they were a team, essentially, until they were all uh, cohesive and relied on each other. And I, I actually really liked that. Uh, the one thing I didn't expect this movie to have uh, was heart. And it, it definitely had it with these characters. And, uh, you know, I actually felt like I cared about them, which I didn't think I would going into it. Uh, Rita, I, I'm still not really a big fan of how they did Rita. Elizabeth Banks is a great actress, but I don't think this is her greatest role. I, I still think she was kind of an odd choice for Rita. Uh, there were some moments where she was, uh, you know, played a creepy Rita, which I thought was kind of interesting. But in other moments, I think she kind of went a little over the top on Rita and, uh, yeah, it was just a different take. I mean, I guess it kind of fit in with this style that they went with, but uh, it just it didn't really do anything for me. I just I I don't like Rita's personal storyline in this iteration. Uh, I didn't really care for that. But uh, the the main thing that really got me was uh, was the kids. I, I really enjoyed their dynamic, the actors that they got to pick to to play them. I'm really glad they chose you know, relatively unknown uh, actors and actresses for those roles. And I thought they all nailed it. They all did a great job. And, you know, at first I was kind of bothered that they weren't going for the same type of attitude, the same type of characters that they were in the original TV show. You know, their characters were different. And uh, I, I actually liked these characters. I, you know, I mean, I still have my fondness for the, the TV show versions. And I, you know, I probably still prefer those, but uh, these just had a depth to them that I didn't expect them to have. And I really enjoyed seeing them all work together. And it made that moment where they were finally able to come together and access uh, that Morphin Grid and morph together to become the Power Rangers, uh, it made that moment uh, even more epic. And it was awesome. And I was a little bit worried because, you know, you get through the majority of the movie and you don't hear that iconic theme song. And then... You know, once they finally become the Power Rangers and they, you know, get in their Zords and burst out, then you hear uh, this little remix rendition of the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers theme song. Uh, once you hear that play, uh, just that feeling that I got was awesome. I felt like just jumping up out of my seat. It was it was a great feeling. So that was that was really fun. Um, not a big fan of the Megazord. It uh, I don't know. It it didn't really look. I don't think it looked very cool. Uh, the Zords themselves looked better than I thought they would be. Uh, but just the way, like, you didn't really even get to see them come together, like, visually. And then just, uh, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of just the overall look of the Megazord. You know, it it's okay. It is what it is. I'm sure, uh, you know, if they're able to get another movie, it'll probably be different. Stuff will probably change. Uh, it was kind of interesting. This movie had a little bit of a Transformers feel to it. I think a lot of that was kind of the aesthetic of the whole ship and the technology and stuff that was used. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It it could have been had they, you know, made it on a much bigger scale. But the way that it was done, I think, was um, it it was in enough moderation that it didn't push me over the edge to where I was like, okay, that was too much dial it back you know it, it was it was good I, I thought it was it was pretty good so uh let's get on to the scales of it all for story i'm going to give it 20 points uh chops i'm going to give it full marks 15 and then uh for accuracy of course i'm going to have to dock it give it five points just because there are some things that were changed like i've kind of mentioned and then length i thought the movie had really good pacing the length was good i didn't feel like anything rushed or dragged i felt like it was a good length the ending i'm gonna dock it just a little bit give it 25 points just because i do kind of feel like the ending of it was a bit abrupt uh, you had just this really great build up to them coming together and then it was just i i felt like that final battle that whole final sequence i thought was just a little bit anticlimactic especially with the megazord uh, and so that i think could have been done a little bit better uh, and then as far as uh, shoehorn the bonus category i'm not going to give it any bonus points i'm just going to leave it at a flat zero because it had a pretty overt marketing ploy 
that I felt like was a little bit unnecessary. And I, I don't normally get irritated with, um, you know, when companies have such a big marketing thing like this. But the fact that it was so integrated into the story, I thought was really odd and a little bit unnecessary. Uh, I know some people thought it was kind of funny and added to the comedic elements of it, but I didn't really, I didn't really think it was funny. And uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you've seen the movie, I thought it was just kind of like, that uh, just seemed pointless. I don't know why they had to do it that way. I felt like they could have come up with something better. That's an overall score of 75, which is a C. And uh, that's a lot more than what I thought this movie would get. So, uh, I mean, a C is good. That's average. I really expected uh, going into this movie, I thought I was going to give this an F or maybe a D. Uh, so C is good. 75 is really good for this. Um, in a perfect world, it would have you know been an A. But hey, 75 is still really good. If you're a Power Rangers fan, if you ever have been throughout your life, I think... Uh, it's worth watching, maybe at least worth renting. If you like this review, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, check out our Patreon uh, page if you would like to support us and uh, help us to grow. And anyway, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.